my eyes just kind of like shifted a little bit to the side and it was just like, what was that? One. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to, this was supposed to be a get ready with me and then an unboxing and then just, there's so much going on. There's so much going on. Um, but yes, I am, I think there's a lot. I, you know, okay, this is what we're gonna do. Cause I am not at home. As you can see, I'm in a hotel room. I'm gonna give you guys a quick hotel tour, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing in this hotel room. I'm actually in Atlanta, um, but I'm partnering with IHG Hotels, which owns the Kimpton Hotels and a host of other amazing hotels. And I'm working with them on Instagram. Um, but of course I wanted to share it with you guys. So in this vlog, I'm going to share my stay here. I'm gonna be here. It's a little staycation. Your girl needs a break, even though I'm kind of working, but it's nice to kind of just be by myself. Don't tell my kids, don't tell the husband, <laughs> but it's nice to be by myself and just have a little bit of a break. Um, so I'm gonna explore the hotel. Of course, I'm gonna bring you guys along because um, it's a gorgeous hotel. I've actually been here before when they first opened. Um, I got an award for like one of the top bloggers or influencers, something in Atlanta from Modern Luxury, which is one of the magazines here. And um, I shared that with you guys in a vlog, but yes, this, I'm back here again, but this time I'm actually staying. And this place is beautiful. Like, I, of course, I had to, like, have a quick peek. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to flip it around and share the room with you guys because it's so pretty. Um, it's a little late, so I'm just going to kind of, like, get myself situated, kind of figure out where I want to shoot content and all that good stuff today. And then tomorrow, just going to do some shooting, going to get a tour from um, one of the BPs here. Um, I think Titi's going to meet me for lunch. Then my kids and my husband are going to meet me for dinner um, tomorrow as well. Then I think Tamika's going to meet me on Wednesday. So it's going to be a fun couple of days. I feel like I'm going to be able to get some work done and not feel stressed or anything. So I'm very excited. But um, before we jump into all the hotel stuff and whatnot, I'm going to actually no, I'm going to share the room first and then I'm gonna unbox the Chanel bag with you guys that I just got and yes <laughs> I'm also keeping track of my two bag per quarter and I basically hit the <laughs> I know we just entered the second quarter and yes I hit it already and why is Derek like taunting me with the new mini Fendi peekaboos guys they're so good and he sent me some colors and I'm just like oh I'm trying really, really hard. Like, it is hard. It is very hard. Plus, I feel the need to get the bag so I can review the bag and share the bag with you. So I'm really struggling. But your, your girl's struggling, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anywho, so far, so good. But yes, um, I'm going to do the quick room tour. Then I'm going to share the unboxing of the Chanel. And then I have some other really cool things that I want to share with you guys. I actually brought them here, so I'll kind of unbox them. Well, not necessarily unbox them because I got stuff to shoot with um, and just new and items that I got for like trips and stuff. And because the hotel is here in Atlanta, I could like literally just put everything in my car and bring it here and then just record it here. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. So after I do all that, then we'll jump into the rest of um, the stay at the hotel. So like I said, I just got in here. So those are my plans that I laid out for the rest of my stay here. But yes, we will definitely do the room tour first. Then we'll unbox the Chanel bag. I unboxed the Chanel bag at home, but we'll kind of throw that in here. And then I will share some of the other goodies, kind of like a try on. Yes, we're going to do a quick little try on before I call it a night completely. And then we'll start the next day. So yeah. I think that's a good flow of things. Hopefully it's not too long, but it'll be fun. So yeah, now enough talking because you know your girl loves to talk. <laughs> so, but then again, you guys are here because you know, we, we have good conversation and that's what girlfriends do. We chat, you know, we kiki, we do all that fun stuff. But anywho, I'm gonna flip it around and share the room. Yay. All right, so this is kind of what you see when you walk in. That's my suitcase there. Um, but yes, uh, this is kind of like the entryway of the room and there is a mirror that can work pretty good for my outfit of the day. I'm like, I don't know why 
hotels will not have like mirrors. All hotels should have mirrors, but this is a really good one. Oh, I'm wearing this um, old denim dress from Cost. You guys have seen it. Uh, my Chanel AirPod case holder, Chanel scarf, my prescription glasses, and then I'm wearing my Jordans. These are part of like the unboxings that I'm doing. I just got them. They're my first pair of Jordans ever. I love these. I love the colorway. I was looking for a color that would really suit me and work with my wardrobe. And when you guys see my new bag, you'll know why I picked this color because it's everything and it works perfectly with my new bag. But yes, I just love the detail of this mirror. Like, it's so beautiful. And then here you guys, you kind of have like the little hooks to kind of ha hang jackets and whatnot. It's like going to be 81 degrees in Atlanta tomorrow, so I definitely don't need that. But yes, this is what we see when we enter, which is really beautiful. And then you just turn the corner and... Actually, no, let's go to the wash now. We'll do here first. So yes, you've got a huge window, which I love. So that means there's gonna to be tons of natural light. Um, and then over here, so we've got the safe, we've got our robes. Y'all know I need robes. I don't see slippers. I'm gonna to have to call the front desk and ask for slippers. Um, and then we just have some shelves. Let's see what's in here. There's a fridge. That's always good. I love the wood detail. Like, in the... It's just really pre pretty. Very minimum. Just really pretty. I love this. Really love this. But anywho. So, yes. Then over here, we have a TV. And then we've got the bed, which is huge. I love the wall sconces. Absolutely beautiful. You just got your remote clock. That looks like, um, what's it called? Like Google or something. Um, beautiful bed. Love the artwork. I love this minimalistic vibe. I also love the fact that the, the lamps are different. So one is mounted and then you just have a nice lamp over here. I'm just, I, I love straight light. Well, I guess it's supposed to be like that. So I'll just leave that. But then you also have this fun little area. I guess this is the, oh, just more drawer space. Really pretty. Love the finish on this. Um, and then a little seating area. I feel like I'm going to create some content here. I have to shoot something for Lagos. Oh, wait, you guys see what I'm shooting for Lagos. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm definitely going to shoot it here. I'm just still trying to, even maybe over here. Anywho, <laughs> this is a room tour, not me trying to think. But yes, we also have a little nook, little table area. They left a nice little note. That's always so sweet. I love M&M's. Ooh, cookies. Oh, we've got a bottle of wine, too, and some water. Another window, which is always great. All the windows, is the more windows, the more natural light, which I love. It's actually really dark and gray in Atlanta, but um, it's actually pretty light in here. Even though it's dark and gray, it's absolutely beautiful. So very spacious room for me today. I love this. And then let's go to the washroom. Oh, it's so pretty in the washroom. It's so light and airy. I love it. I just love these mirrors. They're so pretty in the walls concepts. I love them. Oh, I got my phone set up because I was gonna <laughs> record, um, shoot a reel, but I was like, let me do this first. But yes, you have another window here. Piece of art, very fun. You've got your toilet, a little bar for towels, shower in here. Just clean and airy and bright. I love this. I just love all the details. It's the details for me. Does this open? I don't think. Oh, it does. Perfect. So more storage space there. Tons of towels. Oh, good. Um, I need that mirror for getting ready and doing my eyebrows. But yeah, this is the washroom. I love the towel detail. You know, I love going to places that are clean, fresh, airy, and pay attention to all the little details. And they definitely do that here. Love Oh, there's also like, you. I think the French doors, where the two doors open. <laughs> but yeah, that kind of is like, you know, how you enter the washroom. So really beautiful. Yeah, let's do one quick one over. All right, so that's my room. Plenty of space, plenty of natural sunlight coming in. Um, it looks like I have a city view, so I don't think my view is, oh, 
it's the view of the courtyard. Um, I will change the ISO so you guys can see the view in a second, but it's just really pretty. Like the room is everything. I love it. I am going to have my glass of wine, sit back, relax, chill. And yeah, this is my room. Now let's unbox that Chanel bag. It's so good. I'm carrying it with me today. So I want you guys to see it because, oh, it's everything. Cheers. So I have an unboxing for you. I haven't done an unboxing in a minute. Um, but yeah, I figured, you know what? Why not do a quick unboxing of a new bag that is absolutely amazing. It wasn't on my wish list. It wasn't planned. I didn't even know this bag existed. It was just, yeah, I'll, I'll get into the whole story, but it was literally just me going from world <laughs> to support a friend as she was on a quest to find the perfect black and white Chanel bag. And um, I decided to accommodate her, or not accommodate her, I <laughs> accompany her um, and try to help her find the bag because it, she literally, we were literally at um, a brunch or something, a baby shower, and she got a message that the bag she had seen, that she wanted, she loved, had sold out. And I was like, no, 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 what, we're gonna find the bag for you. Like, me being the person that I'm like, no, we're gonna find the bag for you, let's go, I'm gonna call Layla, I'm gonna call my friends, we're gonna find the bag. <laughs> so, yeah, I went to, you know, advocate for her to help her find the bag. Unfortunately, the particular bag she wanted sold out company-wide. She ended up finding another black and white Chanel bag that was absolutely stunning. But in the process of, you know, me just trying to help her out and just make sure she got what she wanted, <laughs> my eyes just kind of like shifted a little bit to the side. And it was just like, what was that? Like, literally, I was just like, shit. Yeah. So I ended up buying a bag. Um, it was in the first quarter. And for those of you that have been rocking with me, you know that I have my two bag per quarter rule um which I broke but technically now because I already got a one bag in the first quarter for the second quarter and then this one was right at the end of the first quarter so I'm not getting any bags until June but when you see this bag you know that it's worth it and you know I'll just mind my business until June so let's see if I can keep that I think I can do it I think I can do it but yes like I said, once you guys see the bag, you'll know why I broke my own rule. So you won't be able to blame me, but yes. Um, before we start unboxing the bag and I share this beauty with you guys, if you're new, what's up? I'm Monica and I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta. And if you love fashion, fashion and more fashion, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell um, so you'll never miss a video. This video, this video, this channel is really a fashion channel. I love to mix up a um, high-low fashion. Um, I love a good luxury bag. I love luxury, period. But at the same time, I love a good deal. So you'll see a little bit of everything. I don't usually do unboxings, but I do have a really cool series called Breaking Down the Bag, which I go over some of the many bags that I have in full detail. I do have a background in luxury retail and especially in um, luxury bags. Um, so yeah, I like to break them down to you as if, you know, it's not me selling them to you per se because these are bags that I've owned, I've used, the pros and cons. So I pretty much go over everything. Um, and in addition to what a sales associate would probably tell you, I actually share my personal experience with the bag. So it's a really cool series. Um, we've got a few bags in the series right now, so make sure you check it out. But yes, um, yeah, so, you know, if you like that, if that's your jam, you're into all of that good stuff, or you just need style inspiration, make sure you subscribe. Um, also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. It's Ogmaimani, um, for daily style inspo. Pretty much you get everything that I'm doing there first, because the videos are just a little harder to create. But, you know, I try to do everything in real time on Instagram. If you're following me on Instagram, you probably know <laughs> what this bag is, but yes. Anywho. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, let's get into this video. There's like some noise going on. I think somebody's doing something upstairs. Anywho, let's get into the video. It's 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 good. All right, so let's unbox. I literally haven't <laughs> touched this bag since I bought it, and I think it's almost it's been almost a week. No, it's been more than a week because I traveled. Um, but yeah, we love Chanel wrapping. Always fun. That's the receipt. Isn't she gorgeous? So now you see why I had to break my rule. I've always kind of wanted a bag in this silhouette from Chanel, kind of like that box bag kind of vibe. And 
when I saw this, first of all, it was the color. As you can see, I'm wearing the same beautiful blue. Um, and it's just a really good color for me. I love it. I don't have anything in this color. I do have a blue bag. So my other blue bag is this Bulgari, which is a completely different blue. So very, very different. And for me, this is just a special bag that I just love. Um, so yeah, I didn't have anything in this color. It is in their caviar leather, which I love. Um, honestly, the one, th like, this alone was a, a lot and I loved it. And the color was another thing that I was just like, oh my God, I love it. Um, and everyone is doing this blue. Like if you don't have a bag in this blue this season, you need a bag in this blue this season. It is clearly one of the biggest colors with the exception of lilac being that it's the color of the year. I'm finding that every retailer has something in this blue. Um, just after, you know, going to Chanel and getting my girlfriend her bag and me getting this one. Then we went to like, we went to Fendi. They have a Fendi first in the same blue Dior. They have bags in the Louis Vuitton. All the stores have something. So that's a great indicator that if you don't have something in this beautiful blush type blue, I would highly recommend to get something. But other than the color, like I said, other than the caviar leather, the silhouette, all the things that I absolutely adore, it was this detail. Like, let's just get a close up of that. Like that detail was just everything. Like the handle detail is exquisite in my opinion. It also has a long strap, which I love. And then you have that leather panel, which makes it easy to, you know, hold it as a shoulder bag or just on the body. Um, this bag is just an exquisite bag. The details on it, everything. Multiple pockets, you've got a pocket in the front, you have a pocket at the back. You have this section here in the front with another slip pocket. And then you have the same thing at the back with another slip pocket. It's also lined in leather, so it's just a beautiful bag. And the price point on this, it was 5200 So for the level of the, the workmanship, the caviar leather, the hardware, I feel like this is a great, a great purchase. And in comparison to your um, Chanel 19, which is lined with fabric on the inside and cost more, I really feel like this is a great silhouette to have. I know, I don't think this is a classic and I don't think it will be a classic for the brand, but I feel like Chanel has always had bags in this silhouette. So if you are thinking about getting this bag, I know it comes in black. I think it came in pink as well, but I have black bags. I don't need a black bag. I don't want a black bag. Um, I have pink bags. It was just the blue. Like the pink was pretty, but it didn't do what the blue did for me. Um, and I'm just so happy I got it. Like this is my first time seeing it after almost two weeks and I'm just so thrilled. I'm finding that, um, a lot of my Chanel bags kind of twist, but it's just easy to just kind of twist it back. But yeah, you still, I still have this. I literally, I just opened it for the first time. It's just, it's just everything. Like looking at it again, I'm so happy I got it. I absolutely, absolutely love this bag. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, if you would indulge in this, if you think I made a good purchase by adding this to my collection. Um, I just see myself styling this 101 different ways. I am very pleased. All right, guys, that was my little Chanel unboxing. Um, let me know what you guys thought about the bag. Let me know if you think it was a great purchase, if it was worth kind of like you know, taking, boring from the second quarter to get this one. I really think it is. I just, I know I'm going to style it so many different ways. So just stay tuned because I will continue to style it 101 different ways. Um, I have some other things. I, at first I was just going to make this a uh, Chanel unboxing video, but I have some other cool things coming and I think I'll just share them with you ca casually and just add it to this video. Um, that way it's not just the Chanel unboxing, but just a few cool things that I just picked up. Um, that I'm going to shoot with, that I'm going to take on travel, and just all that good stuff. So yeah, let's keep on watching and see what else I got. How fabulous was the bag? It's so pretty. <laughs> I have it in the closet here. But anywho, to try to not make this too long, I'm going to try on some of the pieces that I just got in. Um, some I want to shoot with. Um, some, well, actually I have some dresses. I have two big birthday parties that I'm going to. So one for sure, I know I'm going to keep for one party. I have to try it on actually. But the other one, I'm trying to figure out what to wear to an event. So I want to wear 
one of the dresses for a campaign that I'm gonna shoot for Lagos. Oh, I should show you guys some of the jewelry. I'll probably show you guys some of that too. But um, one of the dresses I'm gonna shoot for a campaign and then I want to wear whatever I shoot for the campaign and I can keep, I wanna wear it to a friend's um, a party. When I'm in, I'm going to be in Lagos in June and I'm gonna do some shoots and stuff but also a friend invited me to someone's birthday party so I want a fabulous dress. So. Anywho, you guys will help me decide. So I'm going to try everything on for you guys and then we'll decide. Yeah. Yay. Okay, so this is the dress that I want to wear for my Legos photo shoot. I love this. The campaign is kind of like a Mother's Day campaign. So I wanted something special, something fun. Um, I hope you guys can see the color and it's not. Actually, I'm going to try. I know it's very light. I'm going to step back so you can see the full dress. It's absolutely stunning. I feel like this would be a great dress to wear and then I can make the straps a little shorter. So when it comes to fashion and me, like I feel like I'm a little bit of everything. I love girly girl, I love edgy, I just love it all. And I feel like with fashion, you know, it's you're meant to have fun with it. So I love the fact that I can, you know, switch up my style at a heartbeat, and, but I, I know how to make it my own and authentically me. So like, I love pieces like this that are just girly and pretty but at the same time I love edgier looks um so yeah I'm gonna step back so you can see the full look but I would probably have the straps like this and the fuller bows and then open it up a little bit more the sun is is coming out and I have um the sun you like you guys are literally right in front of a window so I apologize for the up and down with the light but yes let me step back so you can see this dress because it's amazing and stunning I really like this one so guys let me know and that's the back so show off some of those back muscles that I'm always working on <laughs> I love it the only thing I don't like about the dress is that it doesn't have pockets but I don't think that's a big deal and a lot of the jewelry that I'm wear um shooting it's gonna be gold and it's got gold threads running through so it's a little bit of pink it's a little bit of orange it's so pretty oh Derek sent me a, oh, maybe I do need to get that orange peekaboo or even the pink. Oh, anywho, yes, it's so pretty and it's so full. I feel like if my feet start to hurt, I can literally wear like slides or just flat. So it's just really, really pretty. So this would be a great like wedding guest dress or going to a 40th birthday party or something like that. And then I would use like um body tape to kind of like, you know, push the girls up just a little bit. I feel like they're fine the way they are, but you know, a little lift would be good too. Okay, I'm gonna try the next one. Okay, so this is the second dress. The sun went away, so you can actually get a true, a true like, what's the word? Understanding or vibe or a true view of the, <laughs> it's late, but you can get a true idea of the color. This is an age dress. I had to go look up the <laughs> the pronunciation and it is age. It's not age. I used to say age, it's age. But it's an age dress. I love the dress. I love the color. Red is definitely a good color for me. This one does have pockets. However, I can't zip it up on my own. Um, I feel like I can zip it up. Like it's just hard for me to zip it up on my own and there are snaps. Um, but yeah, I think the other one is a little bit more festive. I should stay close while I'm talking. Um, and this one's not as long, so, but I don't care. I would still wear flats and be fine with it. But I'm going to step back so you can see the full dress. What do you guys think? I'm really feeling the other one, I think. So, but I, of course, I want to know what you guys think. I just hate when I can't zip up my own dresses and I need someone to help me. But this is a beautiful dress and I would do that. I would go through the, the trouble for a great dress. And I did get shoes for, to go with this. I don't know how, I don't know if I love the shoes. I'm gonna share the shoes with you guys in a second. But yeah, this is the second dress. So it's between this one and the first one. I wanted, I'm not gonna tell you which one I'm leaning towards because I wanna know what you guys think. And of course, I think you'll know for sure when you see the content. Um, but yeah, this one or the other one. All right. I still have more to try on. Oh, and I have the dress that I'm keeping 100% that I absolutely love. Um, I'm gonna show that. All right, this dress. Ah! And I 
zipped it up myself. <laughs> I zipped it up myself. I had to like push it to the front, zip it up, and then sh <laughs> shimmy it around. But this is another uh, age, age, age dress. And I love, it's the details for me. It really makes my arms look really good, which I like. I love, love, like completely obsessed with this dress. It makes my waist look so small and it gives me a nice Coca-Cola frame. So I like pieces like this that are fit and flare, but not overly girly, especially for the particular occasion that I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to wear the dress with, hmm, I think I'm going to wear the dress with um, my Versace lilac and then I need to find like very avant-garde, very like elaborate earrings and then I'll probably just have my, well, ooh, I'm, the goal is to get my hair braided so I'll probably have my hair super long braided and then have the statement earrings with the lilac piercing through and then my Chanel clutch and that, you know, lilac and iridescent color you guys have seen it but yeah that's what i'm thinking what do you guys think it's gorgeous right <laughs> oh, my waist looks so small with this i love it okay let's keep on trying um i have one more dress and then i have these oh, amazing shorts i think i'm gonna try the two things on together because the dress is everything it's an anifa dress um i was originally going to shoot it in B bermuda on the beach for my birthday shoot my birthday is in june june 12. <laughs> but um i decided not to because the resort was so like you know prim and proper and all of that and i didn't want to like go on the beach wearing this you'll see the dress so you'll know why but anywho i'm gonna try those two pieces on together so you guys can see the shorts are zimmerman and i'm obsessed with them and the dress is hanifa who knows i might wear the two together but i doubt it because i yeah but anyway i'm gonna try it on real quick <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, this Hanifa dress is everything. This is my first time buying anything from the brand. And I'm so impressed. The workmanship, the price point is pretty awesome. This is from their runway collection. So when I first of all got it in my head, I wanted to wear it to the same event I'm going to wear the black dress to. And the slit is so like in your face that I was just like, there is... There was no way I was going to wear this in Nigeria of all places, number one, anywhere actually, without like, you know, layering it. So then I was like, well, if I can't wear it for that, I can wear it for a photo shoot in Bermuda for my birthday photo shoot. And then I ended up not wearing it just because I felt very self-conscious, like going on the beach where there were families and everything, wearing this very risque avant-garde dress. So then I was like, okay, I can wear it to fashion week. And I probably still will. I'm still gonna, I think I'm gonna wear it for a birthday shoot and I'm gonna do that here because I brought like a long sequence um, skirt to wear with it. But for fashion week, I'm gonna wear it with leather pants. I'm gonna step back so you can see, but just let's just have a moment for the top. So it kind of has this like asymmetric, almost deconstructed shirt vibe going on. You have the extra large cuffs, which I love. You have the half done collar, which is everything. Let me play, it just frames the face. And then you've got that crisscross button situation going on. It's definitely reminiscing of um, an Alexander Wang dress that I had. And I also wore the Alexander Wang dress. I got a magazine feature and that, that was the dress that I wore. I wore it in blue. And then I also have it in black and I wore that in Miami. You guys saw that in the Miami, Miami vlog. But anywho, enough talking. I'm gonna step back so you guys can see the fabulousness that is this dress. Ah! How fabulous is this dress? Like, it is gorgeous. So one side is gathered and it's longer. And then you have the other side, which is just kind of a normal length. Um, there is a zipper at the back. I think I managed to get it all the way up by myself, which is great. I love the way it fits. Like, it just fits amazing. So for me, I'm thinking what I have under it now, it's kind of not allowing it to sit lower because it's. I think it's meant to be a little lower. But I have on these Zimmerman shorts that I got that are absolutely stunning. 
I feel like I need to take the dress off so you guys can see. Well, not it's kind of like a shirt, just like an extra long shirt. I wouldn't even call it a dress. So you see where the slit is. There's no way. <laughs> like there's nothing I could wear under this to make it work. And it, it's not, it's thick, but it's not thick enough for me to feel comfortable wearing it, you know, without anything under it. Like there's no body tape or whatever. I, once I start to move, it's a wrap. Everything's out there and we don't want that. We don't want that. But yes, this, everything. If it's still available, get it. If you have somewhere like that you want to go to and you want to be a bit more extravagant, I would say get it. Because it's definitely one of those pieces that will stand out. It's a showstopper. I probably could make it work with these shorts, but that's not how I want to style it. I have a different idea for the shorts. But yes, can we have a moment for these Zimmerman shorts? Like, oh. absolutely stunning it comes with its own belt the rise is super high the material the fabric is everything I love this printed linen it's just stunning it has a host of different colors in there so you can wear it with 101 different things the pockets everything I love these shorts I'm gonna be wearing it with a Jonathan Simkai um, crop top that I have I got it last year it's kind of in a, a taupey lilac color that's on the shorts and then I have this gorgeous smite um, linen blazer so I'm going to throw that on top of it and that's kind of what I want to wear in my shoot for the hotel so yes I cannot wait to share all of that with you guys oh but yeah oh I just have to show the shoes I shared the Nikes that I got already um, I think in the, the beginning of the tour but yeah those were my first first Jordans I love them I love the colorway and of course guys I will link everything for you guys and I'll probably sprinkle some other things that I'm eyeing um, in the description box as well. But if you guys have any questions about any of the stuff that I picked up, let me know. I'm going to take this off real quick and then wrap up this part. Hey guys, so I just finished taking a tour of the hotel. Absolutely beautiful here. Um, I didn't take the clips on this vlogging camera, but I did it on my cell phone, so I'll insert little clips from the tour. The hotel is absolutely stunning. The theme behind it, it's kind of like the way Atlanta's in the forest. So you'll see a lot of trees, a lot of green. It's very homely. They don't have a lounge, they have a living room. There's just so many great details, but I'm gonna stop talking because there's music and I don't want copyrights. But yeah, and the lighting here is amazing. <laughs> but yes, it's a beautiful hotel and I'm gonna keep on sharing more clips. All right guys, so I'm back in my room. I just finished shooting all this fabulous jewelry from Lagos. Um, can we just look at these pieces? The arm candy, the rings, oh, and on this side. So yeah, um, I actually shot the images myself. My camera's pretty awesome, and then I just put a timer, and sometimes I actually prefer shooting images myself just because... I can see the images, I know where I went wrong, and I can kind of fix myself. It just does take a little longer, but now I feel like I'm less indecisive, and I know more of what I want and what my clients want, so I'm able to kind of like, instead of taking like 100 different shots, I can take like 20 max of myself, and I know that they're perfect. And honestly, half the time when I'm shooting campaigns for brands, uh, sorry, I just ate something. I was starving. But half the time um, when I'm shooting campaigns for brands, the brands only usually get about three images. I usually use about eight tops. So there's really no need for me to take like multiple or hundreds of images because you really only use one or two for social media and then for blog posts. And then sometimes the brands will request extra images. But yes, I am obsessed with all these Legos pieces. The earrings are amazing. Um, it's kind of matches this. This is like two different necklaces. So I have this one and I have the longer one and then just the rings. I'm hiding my nails because I couldn't get my nail appointment in um, yesterday like I wanted to. But I was able to kind of shoot it in a way where I did cover my nails. And if I have any situations where I feel like the nails are showing or they're really pronounced, then I can just edit them. So the beauty of editing. But yes, um, loving the makeup. The lighting in here is amazing. The images are awesome. If the campaign is live before this goes live, I will pop in images. Otherwise, you guys are just going to have to check me out on Instagram to see the images. But I wore that beautiful, like, 
pink and red dress is absolutely stunning and it complements the jewelry so well so very excited yay okay now i'm just gonna try and relax for a little bit and then tt's gonna come over she's gonna help me shoot another campaign and then we're gonna catch lunch hey guys look who's here so miss thang came over to help me shoot some content at the hotel um it looks so good i can't wait for you guys to see it oh. <laughs> but yes the people um, want to know so st kitts coming so that should be up on sunday yeah so I'm, I'm i'm traveling tomorrow so once i get back um, i'm gonna have content up so just i'll have some shorts the next few days then perfect go. good yes do the shorts because you have so much yeah just so much you have so much, have so much Absolutely. Content. Maybe I should do shorts yeah just keep on doing shorts until you know until the, okay, yeah that. yeah but yes so by the time this goes live her saying kids trip should be live so because this won't be live till like the end of the month okay it'll be live. Yeah, but if it's not live, there's gonna be short, so make sure you check it out. And what's what's your handle on YouTube for those who um, don't know? Titi's passion. All right, <laughs> perfect, good, good, good. So yes, we're just picking up something to eat, and then I'm gonna be heading back to the hotel to start working on content. Okay, guys. So I figured I have to jump on real quick because I just realized, like, did it end? <laughs> I didn't end. I don't even know if it, I, I I wouldn't call this a vlog because it was. The Chanel unboxing. <laughs> it was a Chanel unboxing. It was um, the try on. It was me staying at the Kimpton. Um, so yeah, there was a whole bunch. But me and Ama are here. Hello. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm uh, my video is um, going on. <laughs> I'm watching my Bermuda vlog as I wait for my son. But anywho, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you guys think about the new bag um, and all the pieces I got and which dress I should keep. And yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out um, my Instagram page. It's Odd by Moni as well as um, TikTok, Odd by Moni as well. And my website, oddbymonica.com. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. When did you go to... Not going to say bye? Oh, bye. <laughs> bye. bye.